Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining me today. Uh, my name is Lee Mueller, and I just put out a uh, new uh, book, novel of short stories called Street Ends No Outlet. Uh, that is a uh, series of more stories about a uh, character of Marvin Milstead. Uh, if you're familiar with adolescence, you may be familiar with that. And I thought, you know what, there probably will be some questions. Uh, keywords there would probably will be. There aren't yet, but let's imagine that there are. And I'll go ahead and answer them now. Kind of get that out of the way. So let's, let's jump to uh, the first question. Let's choose this one here. So I can see uh, this one is from Frederick Barson, Barsnick, Mitch, but Fred, let's just call him Fred B. Uh, he is from Moose Jaw, Saskatchewan. How about that? All the way from uh, Canada there. Frederick wants to know, uh, dear Lee, and it's, it's, it's me, uh, you had just published Idolescence, Tales of Marvin, not that long ago, and now you have published uh, Street Ends No Outlet, which is more Tales of Marvin, isn't it awfully soon to saturate the market with Marvin? Well, that is a great question that I uh, kind of prefaced uh, in the introduction to this video. Let me explain. In the new book, Street Ends No Outlet, there is a main story toward the end that's rather long called At the Crest. At the Crest was a story that was meant to be included in the previous book, Adolescence, but wasn't completed in the time I just wasn't happy with it and continued to work on it long after I published Idolescence. And I thought, well, I'll just, I'll put this out eventually. And uh, I had a lot of people asking me, hey, you know, are you going to write uh, some more short stories with Marvin included in it? Said, well, yeah, you know what? I actually have one that is left over. It's kind of uh, an extra one that uh, wasn't cooked all the way. And I've kept it in the oven for a while and now it's, it's pretty much done. And instead of just putting it out as is, uh, a novella, if you will, on its own, I thought I'd just I'd go ahead and add a few more little short stories that I had with Marvin in there and uh, make it a book unto itself and make it a continuation, some more stories. So that's what I did. It wasn't so much uh, I rushed to write a whole bunch of stories to put out because, you know, I thought I was doing well and necessarily. It was just that, well, these were left over as so. a musical group might do like put out an album of b-sides besides the point that's what i did b stories i guess uh, as you will if you will whatever you can do um i put that out and that is just published so that was it's kind of a uh, not a trilogy not a continuation not a sequel it's just more of the same uh and if you enjoyed it it's the pre the first one then it's more of the same so okay shall we uh have another question let's uh let's uh let's pick this one right here uh and see what we've got uh this one is from sally marpolovich from uh springfield mass springfield mass very nice place i've been there uh she wants to know since you have uh two books now with this marvin character and a theme going will we expect a third one anytime soon well Great question, Sally, from uh, Springfield, Mass. Um, you know, actually, I have just finished a compilation of some stories that were not written by myself, but written by my my, uh, my grandmother long ago. And um, I put those together, and I think I'm going to put those out and uh, let somebody else, you know, enjoy uh, literature and publishing for a while, and I'll do that for her. And I have, like, three other stories of my own uh, totally fiction that are coming out that have nothing at all to do with uh, little kids growing up in the 70s uh, that I'm going to put out and give myself kind of a breather and the world a breather from that character. But if there is um, inclination and uh, interest in it, then by all means, I do have more stories that could include Marvin. So there you have it, Sally from Springfield. Uh, that's that's what's going on. I think we have time for uh, one last uh, question here. Let's see what this one is from. This one is from <clears throat> John Smith. John Smith. John Smith from uh, Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Tuscaloosa. I have not been there. Uh, I've been to Alabama. Part, anyway, John wants to know if... <coughs> if you... If you... 
were to die and you could come back as any type of tree, what type of tree would you want to be? Uh, well, John, I think uh, balsa. I've often said this, I would like to be a balsa tree and I would like to be harvested down and made into one of those little balsa airplanes that uh, the dentists give out to little kids so I could fly free in the world and spread my wings. So, balsa, thank you. And until next time.